GMC heavy duty trucks are all about capability, refinement, and performance. Our goal was to make sure that we had all the capability that any customer would ask for. New in 2017 is our Duramax diesel engine, where we've increased horsepower, torque. The torque delivers an effortless feel for the customer. The horsepower increase uh, ultimately increases the total capability to travel uphill quickly. The most striking characteristics of the, the Duramax diesel trucks is the beautiful grille. It's this uh, unapologetic front end coming at you that's completely memorable. This thing is really made to be used. It's sculpted in a way that really uh, exemplifies craftsmanship. Customers should be excited about the 2017 Duramax diesel because of its tremendous power and torque capability and effortless towing experience. Ford F-150 has been the benchmark for pickups as far back as I can remember. That's why I couldn't wait to get my hands on the latest model to check it out. I'm Sean Riley, and this is the 2018 Ford F-150. We all know how important it is to use the right tool for the job. 2018 brings F-150's most advanced powertrain lineup ever. You've got choices that specialize in capability, efficiency, and everything in between. So you can get the truck that does what you need it to do. And if you need best in class, you got it. Best in class torque. Best in class payload. Best in class towing. In fact, F-150 can now tow a thousand pounds more than last year's model. This is the Lariat Sport Super Crew. Now it's certainly got that signature F-150 stance, bold and tough, but this new two bar grille really amps up the impact on the front end. Overall, there's a more muscular feel all around the truck. And around back, the new tailgate is sculpted with deeper beveling and has a striking F-150 graphic embossed right into the sheet metal. Now, when I say sheet metal, I actually mean high strength, military grade aluminum alloy. It doesn't rust like steel, but it's just as strong. And it makes the body of this F-150 much lighter than steel. This weight savings has allowed the engineers to make this F-150 more capable and more efficient than any of its previous generations. And that leads an impressive list of innovations that no other light duty pickup has. F-150 has the technology to alert you when there's a vehicle detected in your blind spot. It can also detect when there's a vehicle in your trailer's blind spot. It can recognize a pedestrian stepping in front of your moving truck. And if you don't react in time, it can stop for you. It can make backing up a trailer easy, even for experienced drivers. I could easily say that Ford has raised the bar again with this truck. But they've been doing that over and over again for so long now. The 2018 Ford F-150 doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar. Hey, Eric. Hey, Howie. What do you got? Well, first off, you know, Silverado was designed and engineered from the ground up to take the type of beating that truck buyers expect. Check this out. The fully boxed frame is made from hydroformed high-strength steel with cross members that are through frame welded. It also has a sturdy coilover shock front suspension with rugged upper and lower control arms to tackle the toughest terrain. Silverado is made by truck people for truck people. Kind of the takes one the no one philosophy, right? You bet. Let's take a peek under the hood. And here's the big guy, the 6.2 liter V8. What makes Silverado's engine so special? Well, all the engines we offer, the V6, the 5.3 liter V8, and the 6.2 liter V8 are first and foremost truck engines. So the VH you're talking about are the legendary tried and true Chevy small block engines. You bet, millions produced. All of our Ecotech 3 engines are designed with active fuel management, which shuts down cylinders when they're not needed, and direct injection, which sprays precise amounts of fuel directly into the cylinders, and continuous variable valve timing. All these technologies give our engines both power and efficiency. So you don't have to give up one to get the other. Depending on which engine you choose, Silverado 1500 offers best-in-class V8 power, towing, or fuel efficiency. That's the triple crown. It sure is. So let's take a look at the bed. Great. So the bed is made of high-strength steel for high-strength dependability, right? That's right. I saw how it outperformed the aluminum bed with my own eyes. It was pretty impressive. Why don't you open up the tailgate? Smooth. Clothes is nice, too. I'll try the corner step rear bumper. I love this. Even if you have a trailer hitch here, the corner step rear bumper and the hand grip, if you need to get up in the bed, simple. 
And I know Silverado offers an exclusive automatic locking rear differential, right? That's right. It senses when a rear wheel is slipping and mechanically locks the axle to provide equal power to both rear wheels to give you traction. Ford and Ram don't offer that. And you're good. Now hop in, let me show you some other things that Silverado has to offer. Eric, I gotta say, this is one of the most comfortable trucks I've ever been in. Look at all the technology that Silverado puts right at your fingertips. And check out the MyLink infotainment system. It puts everything you need within reach. And it has natural voice recognition so it understands what you're asking. And Silverado was the first truck to offer 4G LTE Wi-Fi. I know, that could be convenient for a contractor to use Wi-Fi to send proposals to his clients. You can set your phone here or here on the wireless charging mat. And you can also put your laptop in here to keep it safe. And there are USB ports for charging and also an available 110 volt port for plugging into. All the comforts of home. You got it. Let's go. Eric, it's hard to believe that a truck this rugged could be such a pleasure to drive. It really is. Let's turn here and we'll park over there. Sure, this is easy. The rear vision camera helps you see what's going on behind you, and the front and rear park assist lets you know when you're too close to things in front of you or behind you. Piece of cake. Yeah, it really is. And it comes in handy on a job site. You know, with everything I've seen here today, it seems to me that Silverado is the right tool for any job. It really is. And Silverado's a Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. You got a winner here, Eric. Thanks a lot, Howie. So goodness is a term we came up with. Uh, originally, when uh, we started working on this truck, um, we had some questions about whether we know diesel or not. Of course, for me, I've owned diesel for years, so I, I know what diesel is. Diesel goodness is that, that power that, that diesel gives you. It's the, it's the push in the seat. It's the constant pull that the, the diesel engine gives you. The second part of diesel goodness is just the inherentness of diesel engines where you get a lot of tenacity when you're uh, accelerating or you're on grade climbs. It's that feeling that the, the engine always has more to give. You never run out and hit the kind of top of the torque curve. When you're towing, when you're hauling, that the diesel goodness is just that consistent pull all the way up the hill. It, it's that feel that you get in, in a diesel engine that you can pull from any speed without a downshift. It, it's that power on tap all the time. When you're talking about a gas engine, for example, that an OEM might you know, put in a vehicle, it's usually made just to get that job done couldn't do much else with that engine. Uh, so part of diesel goodness is a bit of overkill, and that's comforting. This is not a direct replacement for a V8 gas engine or a V6 gas engine. This is an engine that is to be towing more, hauling more, and gets better fuel economy while towing and hauling. The Cummins engine really brings a lot to us. It gives us that instant credibility from the Cummins brand name. For the Canyon Denali, the one thing we did not want this to be was just another mid-sized truck. So we really tried to rewrite the playbook on how a mid-sized truck was put together. So the recipe for Denali is about key areas of added sophistication and detailing just to deliver on the customer's expectation that Denali gives you more. For the Canyon Denali, we have, for example, 20-inch wheels in a market where 18-inch wheels are the largest size you can typically get. I think if there's one key detail that, that tells the customer there's a Denali coming towards you, it's the grill. There really is nothing like it on the road. We take the same recipe onto the inside of the truck. The Mulan leather pointed seats for the Canyon Denali are beautifully applied, then accented with some piping, some beautiful stitched accents, just, just to really accentuate the, the level of attention to detail in the seating. We have a responsibility in design to project the engineering excellence that lies beneath the skin. With the Canyon Denali, I really believe we have the only premium mid-sized truck in the marketplace today.
just as no two oceans are the same. Every journey you embark on is unique. A voyage in itself. To where everything has a purpose. To create something this ingenious takes generations of expertise. And a giant leap of the imagination. It's about passion. It's about human endeavor. The desire to go further. Beyond the horizon. one of the most unforgiving places in the world, especially in the dead of winter. One wrong move up here, and it's game over. I'm Andy Bell, and this is my buddy, Ryan Millen. And this is the TRD Pro Tacoma. First, we challenged Baja and took first place. Then we tackled the volcanoes of Chile. Now we're heading as far north as we can go, the Arctic Circle. We've got sub-zero temperatures, avalanche warnings, oncoming big rig trucks, and who knows what else. Our mission, take the TRD Pro Tacoma all the way to the end of the Dalton Highway. This is one of the most harsh and brutal pieces of real estate in the world. It's a 530 mile chunk of road that nobody drives recreationally. Dude, look at this. This is just ridiculous. Hey, that's as high as the sun gets. In the middle of winter, you're down to about three hours of daylight. So you gonna let me drive this time? Maybe. You wanna play Rochambeau? Yeah. Whoever loses has to go for a swim in that Arctic plunge, dude. Really? Okay, I'm in. Ready? Rochambeau. Oh, <laughs> no! Look how dark it is in there. How did I let you talk me 